I've said the most painful thing we've gone through, which is a, a serious, serious storm, is when we lost our daughter about a year, year and, and a half, half ago. ago. And it, we lost her suddenly and, and tragically. She literally uh, died at our home, died, died in my arms. So when we were processing that, Lisa, I remember some people asked us some questions about about death, about how are you guys doing? How are you processing this? And then some people said, hey, how do you even prepare for this? And we're like, I said, my yeah, first we were like, can, was, can you prepare for this? Yeah, you, when somebody yeah, like, said that to me, I remember vividly, you know, some people were at our house and this was just days after um, and you know we were preparing for um, her funeral making a lot of decisions which you are kind of like a zombie walking through that and they said many people said oh my gosh Lisa I know you just can't prepare for this you just can't prepare and people would say that because that's mm -hmm. just a natural thing to say yeah. and at first I was like you're right you can't you're right you can't but then it just hit me and it's like God just revealed to me yes Yes, you can prepare for this. As tragic as this is, God gives you the strength because of the time spent with him. Um, I equate it with a bank account, but instead of money, you're depositing faith. As I've mentioned, Ed and I gave our lives to Christ early, you know, like I was, I guess, nine years old. There was never a time where I really strayed away um, you know, there's highs and lows, mountaintops, mm -hmm. valleys, but never did I really stray away and just was involved in church, was involved in the youth group. Then when we were married, we were involved. We were reading the Bible, me personally reading the Bible, not because I'm a pastor's wife, mm -hmm. not because um, of preparing a message, but just because God was going to be dealing with me through his word, prayer. All of those things are basic <clears throat> elements of living the Christian life, yep. but every time we participate in those things, we're just depositing faith, depositing faith, depositing faith. And within that, you're building interest. And so as you go through life and things are smooth, you know, you can just live on the live interest. The but when you go through something like this, that's where you dig deep into your faith account mm -hmm. and you have something to draw on. And so that's you why I encourage the principle, you. Man. Yes, I encourage you, make Jesus the anchor of your life. There's no substitute. Jesus is the only way that your life and your marriage will work. And when you start making these faith deposits, as those rogue winds hit, you're gonna have an anchor that is secure, that is enough, that will hold you, will keep you steady, and you will be able to navigate. You're gonna have pain. Believe me, you and I have gone through some of the most hellacious days and nights following this and through other things in our marriage. But with this anchor, we have been secure.